Welcome to One Word at a Time, the show where we take a close look at the curious words we use every day. Today's episode is about the word magic. Abraca, Dabra. Hey, do you like magic? Today we are going to learn about the word magic. The definition of magic this year, 2019, is the art of obstacle illusions that can be used as entertainment. This word has been used by people all the way back to the Proto-Indo-Europeans. What do you mean by all the way back? How many years ago is that? It's roughly 5,500 years ago. The people are referred to as Proto-Indo-European, but we abbreviated it to pie. So it's not like the pie you eat? Because I really like pie, especially pumpkin pie, yum. No, silly. Pie stands for Proto-Indo-European. Like I said, so the pie root for magic is math, M-A-G-H. It isn't really a spelling we can count on because there is no written work saved from that time. It's a reconstruction that language experts have agreed on. In Old Persian, it was megush, which means to be able to have power. So, strength? Yes, exactly. Old Persian is one of the direct two Old Iranian languages. Oh, so does that mean that Old Persian is from the country Iran? Yup, it's from Iran. In Greek, the spelling can be transcribed as M-A-G-I-K-E. In Greek, this word referred to one of the members of the learned and priestly class. The language Greek comes from the country Greece. Greece? Where is that? Greece is right by Albania and Bulgaria. Albania and Bulgaria are right in the continent Europe. Albania is 5,097 miles away. And Bulgaria is 5,208 miles away. Wow, that is far. During the late 6th and early 5th century, the Persians introduced the word to the ancient Greeks. Modern English has a lot of scientific words with bases that come from Greek. Moving forward in time from the Proto-Indo-Europeans, this word was used by the Romans. At that time in Late Latin, it was spelled M-A-G-I-C-E. Late Latin dates back to about the 3rd to 6th centuries A.D. Both would think that A.D. stands for after death, but it actually stands for Anno Domini. The Anno and Anno Domini means year, and Domini means Lord. So this is another way of saying the year of our Lord, meaning the year of his death. Latin was originally spoken in the area around Rome, known as Latium. We are not sure how to say it. We also say it as Latium. Late Latin was spoken and written by the people of Italy. Some popular places in Italy are Milan, Venice, and Rome. If you flew on a plane to Milan, it would take about 12 hours and 15 minutes to get there. One very popular place in Milan is Duomo di Milano Cathedral. In the cathedral is a painting, The Last Supper, by the famous painter Leonardo da Vinci. Another cool place to visit in Rome is the Colosseum. They use the Colosseum for gladiator games. The gladiators themselves were usually slaves, criminals, or prisoners of war. Occasionally, the gladiators were able to fight for their freedom. And last but not least, Venice. Many people that visit Venice go to their beautiful beaches and use a water taxi on the Grand Canal. Moving forward in time, again, this word was used by the French. Obviously, Old French was spoken in France. France is in the continent Europe. Old French was mostly spoken in northern France and some parts of Belgium from the 8th century to the 14th century. After the 14th century, Middle French was starting to get popular. The word for magic in Old French was magique, which is spelled M-A-G-I-Q-U-E. Some very famous magicians that have some very good tricks up their sleeve are... David Blaine, graduating from Card Tricks and Illusions. Blaine is now known for his elaborate public imprisonments. Penn and Teller, who have been forming together since the late 1970s. Jerry Sadowitz, in 2007, he was voted the 15th greatest stand-up comedian on Channel 4's Greatest Stand-Ups. Dynamo, his real name is Stephen Friend. He has five foot and six inches. He is from Britain. Apollo Robbins. Apollo Robbins is 44 years old and was a guest on the show Brain Games. Darren Brown. Darren Brown's parents are Bob Brown and Chris Brown. The great Lafayette, who unfortunately died in a theater fire. Chris Angel. Chris Angel stands tall at the height of six foot. He has one child. His name is Johnny Christopher. Some related words for magic are... Magic means his power of attracting iron and steel. Magical. Some people find fireworks very magical. Magicianess. It, it is a female magician, and the last time it was used was technically the 1680s. Ma- magi. Magi is the religion of the Magi. 
Zoroast Magi mean Zoroastrian astrology priests who lived in the Persian Empire. And last but not least, mage. Mage is a magician or learned person. Here is the word mage in a sentence. Pick your character, mage or magician. Scientists do not know how the Proto-Indo-Europeans used the word magic at their time. In Old French, magic meant of or pertaining to magic, working or produced by an enchantment, having supernatural qualities or powers. In Old Persian, magic meant derived. In Late Latin, magic meant the same thing it did in Old French, which is of or pertaining to magic, working or produced by enchantment, or having supernatural qualities or powers. In Greek, magic meant spells and evil prayers. Here are some really quick fun facts about the wonderful word magic. The first magician to ever live was Harry Houdini. He was born on March 24th, 1874. Really? Is he still alive? No, he died a long time ago. On October 31st, 1926, he was 52 years old when he died. How did he die? He sadly died from a ruptured appendix. The last fact we have about magic is... Magic became respected in the early 18th century. What do you mean, respected? People started thinking that magic was not just a joke. Interesting. Thank you for joining us today. We are here at Cambridge Elementary and ready to listen to learn and the fascinating abundance reveal with each and every word, one word at a time. To wrap it all up, we will be performing a magic trick. We will be attempting to put a scarf through a phone. Could we have someone from the audience to check if there is no cuts or slits in the phone? How about you? Could you examine the phone, make sure there, if this is not a fake phone or any cuts or slits in the phone? Nope. There we go. Whoa.